Let's begin with the Angelus. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, as she was conceived with power of the Holy Spirit, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of death. Amen. Behold, I am made of the Lord. Be it unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of death. And the Word was made flesh. And dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our time. Pray for us, Holy Mother of God, that we may be made before the promise of Christ. Let us pray. O for we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we do in the incarnation of Christ thy Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection to the same Christ our Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and it shall be world without end. Amen. For our entrance hymn, we take hymn number 11, All Over the World. Hymn number 11. All over the world, the Spirit second letter of St. Peter. You should be living holy and saintly lives while you wait and long for the day of God to come. When the sky will dissolve in flames and the elements melt in the heat, what we are waiting for is what he promised, the new heavens and new earth, the place where righteousness will be at home. So then my friends, while you are waiting, do your best to live lives without spot or stain, so that he will find you at peace. Think of our Lord's patience as your opportunity to be saved. You have been warned about this, my friends. Be careful 
not to get carried away by the errors of unprincipled people from the firm ground that you are standing on. Instead, go on growing in the grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. To Him be glory in time and in eternity. Amen. The word of the Lord Thanks and the Spirit. Be Lord. Our response will be, O Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next together. O Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. Before the mountains were born, or the earth or the world brought forth, you are God without beginning or end. Our response, O Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. You turn men back into dust and say, Go back, sons of men. To your eyes a thousand years are like yesterday come and gone, no more than a watch in the night. Our response, O Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. Our span is seventy years or eighty for those who are strong, and most of these are emptiness and pain. They pass swiftly and we are gone. Our response, O Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. In the morning, fill us with your love. We shall exalt and rejoice for our days. Show forth your work to your servants. Let your glory shine on their children. Our response, O Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. Kindly stand as we prepare our hearts for the gospel. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Word of God is something alive and active. It can judge secret emotions and thoughts. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Mark. Glory be to you, O Lord. The chief priests and the scribes and the elders sent to Jesus some Pharisees and some Herodians to catch him out what he said. These came and said to him, Master, we know you are an honest man, but you are not afraid of anyone, because a man's rank means nothing to you, and you teach the way of God in all honesty. Is it permissible to pay taxes to Caesar or not? Should we pay yes or no? Seeing through their hypocrisy, Jesus said to them, Why do you say this trap for me? Hand me a, hand me a denar denarius and let me see. They handed him one and he said, Whose head is this? Whose name? Caesar's, they, they told him. Jesus said to them, Give back to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and to God what belongs to God. His reply took them completely by surprise. Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, today's liturgy of the word. Give us a very good lesson to reflect upon. What do we have attached to? What are we attached to? Whom do we serve for? And what is our stand? 
Are we standing for Caesar or for God? My friends, today, the first day of the month, and this is a new academic year, and a very good beginning. With yesterday's service, we had adoration, rosary, and mass, and the solemnity of the Pentecost. Very good beginning. And we have to be thankful to God for all the blessings that He showered upon till at this time. And Jesus invites today, my friends, to reflect about what is my stand. The four main questions that we read in the Gospel of Mark is about do we have to pay taxes? About resurrection? Who is my neighbor? And whom we have to serve for? These are the four questions that uh, Mark puts forth in his gospel. The way they approach Jesus is an hypocrisy. They want to trap him. You know the Pharisees sir, and all those who send the Herodians or the soldiers of Herod, Herod. So Jesus cannot answer. If he has to answer for God, then God's own people, Israelites, will not accept Jesus. And if he could have answered for Caesar, the Pharisees would have trapped him. And the wise answer of Jesus was this. Give to Caesar. What is Caesar? Give to God. What is God? Many times, my dear friends, in our family lives, in our native lives, we value ourselves with things, with people, with the position, with the studies, with the degrees that we hold, and we value our own life with the attachments to whatever we have. And when we do not able to sustain with the change, we feel lost. But Jesus very well puts, even in the first reading, nothing is permanent. That's the the whole thing is flowing in the first week. God is our refuge. And therefore, what do we what is our stand? Like many people are always into money, always into properties, wealth. You know, they never think of God. Who is of who is alpha? Who is everything? Who is the beginning and the end? That's the question that the Lord puts forth to us to reflect upon. What is my stand? Jesus is not against money, against wealth, against property. But Jesus says, everything comes from God. And therefore, we need to always have time for God, stand for God, stand for good values, be attached to people, to your own family members, where you may not be lost. And that's a reflection that today's it is a word invites us to reflect. And therefore, dear friends, let's pray for our family members who find themselves, find their values with the things that are attached, with the people that they are attached to, to the position they are attached to. Once they lose any of them, they feel that they are lost, they are no they are no worthy of living. Jesus says. Due to Jesus, what is Jesus? Due to God, who is God? Which means we need to take our stand. Spend time, of course, for getting some money, properties, also stand for the values of God, loving neighbor, loving our family members. Therefore, let us pray for these graces and blessings. That we may have to stand that our lives, our values, May not be perishable, but be eternal. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, dear brother, and that my sacrifice and yours may be accepted of the God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands for the praise and glory of his name. For our God and God of all His holy church. Trusting in your compassion, O Lord, we come eagerly with our offerings to your sacred altar, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, mighty and eternal God. For although you have no need of a praise, yet our thanksgiving is this of your gift. Since our praises had nothing to your greatness, but profit is for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in the company of company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in his eyes. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the eyes. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the founder of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the roof all, so that they may, they may make him for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly in his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body which will be given up for you. In the assembly of it, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that the hell is worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray. That partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered in one by the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> Remember, Lord, your church brought throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, our soul gracious, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. With the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the blessed Apostles, St. Pius X, our patron, and all the saints who please you through your ages, we may merit to be co-cast to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 
At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name, thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done, on us as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom of God and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, your apostles, peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on the sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity. In accordance with your will, live and reign for your God and your God. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a meaningful sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sin of the world and mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world and mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word, and my soul shall be healed. Pray for the spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. I say to you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe you will receive it, and it will be yours, says the Lord. Let us pray. Governed by your spirit, we pray, O Lord, those you feed with the body and blood of your Son, that professing you not just in word or in speech, but also in works and in truth, we may merit to enter the kingdom of heaven. To Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Holy Master Sender, go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Let us take our recessional hymn. Hymn number 308, Lightened by the Word We Heard. Hymn number 308. <clears throat> Lightened by the word we heard, to the world beyond my soul. Nourished by the bread of life, to the world we go. All together in one love and faith, seeking ever to be true. You will guide us on the path of home. Of eternal peace. Good night, friends. <laughs> <laughs>